Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the RadioMaster Nomad Express LRS crossband transmitter module and the DB4 Express LRS receiver. This introduces the Gemini crossband protocol which appeared in Express LRS version 3.4. Uh, it is very early days and some of the features uh, won't even be available until uh, Express LRS 3.5 but we'll have a look at them in a bit more detail. Here's the module in the back of my pink boxer. So the Gemini mode is like a dual transmitter, uh, transmitting dual packages slightly separated in frequency so that there's a, a greater chance of the packet re uh, reaching the receiver undamaged. Increases the link quality of the or link basically. It doesn't increase the range, just increases the, the link quality. So this module brings together Gemini mode and 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz or sub gigahertz all in the one package so that you have the the redundancy of Gemini mode plus the uh, low latency of 2.4 gigahertz and the extreme long range and penetration ability of uh, sub gigahertz and all this is made possible by the introduction of the new Semtech LR1121 transceiver chips in the box we get the Nomad unit two antennas, a quality control ticket there and uh, QR codes to uh, social media pages and the manual and the firmware and it comes with a full-size JR bay and it all will also come with a nano adapter as well uh, but that didn't come with the review kits. Uh, so here we go we've got nice alloy casing, lots of venting, a fan and we've got the buttons there and XT30 for external power whenever you're using more than about 250 milliwatts and USB-C for firmware upgrades. And the DB4R receiver, you can see it has four antennas on it, which is going to be fun orienting all of them and keeping them separated enough. Uh, it comes with the cabling, which I've soldered up to some DuPont connectors so I can connect it into a flight control board. The normal ground, voltage RX and TX connections, there's a little boot button there or a binding button or whatever that is. And we get some uh, red grommets and black grommets to uh, mount it up. Anti-vibration I guess they are. As usual it just clicks straight into any full-size JR bay. And if you have your model with the external, turn the internal RF module off and the external module on and set it to crossfire, CRSF. Then we get the light lighting up and we know we're in business. And I've already bound it up. It goes straight into bind mode when you turn it on for the first time. Then you hit the bind button on Express LRS and See, we've got signal bars there and we've got lights on the receiver. So that is all good, all ready to go. The only hassle with this, this receiver, I think, in this system is going to be dealing with all these uh, different uh, antennas. There's two sub gigahertz antennas and two 2.4 gigahertz antennas. But small price to pay if what you want is the ultimate in link quality and extreme long range for one simple little package. Let's go to the Express LRS. We do have new packet rates introduced with this system and there are more packet rates coming with um, the LRS 3.5. Uh, I tend to use fixed wing, I tend to use packet rate of 100 hertz and full. You can see some new cross band packet rates introduced there, the X150 and X100. Um, if you're interested in this, it's best to go and read it on the websites because it's very hard for me to explain it properly. And we can go down and look at other devices and there's the DBR4 receiver. Alright, so let's go on to the computer and have a look at some of the new uh, specs and packet rates and stuff like that, more technical stuff. So the new packet rates that are introduced with the Gemini crossband protocol. Speed boost for the 900 megahertz band, 
uh, up to 250 hertz and 200 hertz full which is optimized for Mavlink um, apparently with Express LRS and Mavlink the um, parameter downloads were very very slow like taking minutes for, for stuff to be downloaded to your ground station so this is um, increasing the speed of connection of the Mavlink and the dual band X 150 hertz mode Gemini mode giving the sim simultaneous transmissions this is what the uh, cross band is all about and 100 hertz full enhanced Gemini mode which gives you the full 16 channel resolution, which is what I like. And in Express LRS 3.5, there'll be a couple more modes introduced, the DK500, designed for uh, speed and RC reliability in sort of noisy race event environments, I guess. K1000, which gives you a thousand hertz packet rate in the sub gigahertz domain. And they say they've tested it out to 20 kilometers too, so pretty impressive. For high packet rates with the uh, lower frequency. So pretty amazing advancements by Express LRS and uh, Radio Master keeping up with the hardware side of it too. I'm just showing you some pictures of how they uh, look in the packets now. There's the uh, DBR4 receiver. You need to solder it up yourself. Um, and yeah, I, I put some heat, heat shrink on it, but of course that sort of gathered all the uh, antennas together so I've taken the heat shrink off again and I'll rethink that but yeah there's the solder pads there boot button there and the dual LR1124 transceiver chips and the Nomad in its packaging very nice packaging comes already mounted on the full-size JR as I said uh, there will be a nano adapter as well uh, when it actually gets released 6 to 16.8 volts for the external power for the module dual antennas, lots of venting, and there are the antennas in the box there. And yep, as I said, just fits nicely in my pink boxer. Uh, so that's incredible stuff really from Express LRS and Radio Master. The, the Nomad Express LRS Gemini crossband transmitter module and the DBR4 receiver. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.